Excellent. Billy, you are dealing with the oddity of time travel with the greatest of ease. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He's like, this is cool. <laughs> Excellent. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. Let's hit my own brim. And it's time for another franchise, which is another one where we watched the last one recently. Yeah, and I haven't seen that. <laughs> we watched Bill and Ted face the music like a year ago when it yeah, came out. Yeah, and I liked it. And you missed some of the references to the callbacks. I I know the Bill and Ted from like pop popular cultural references and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Yes. I know it's got a phone booth. Yeah. That I think is a time machine, a fun booth time machine. Okay. And they go see famous people of the past. Yeah, I guess. Something like that. We'll have to find out. Like Abraham Lincoln. I mean, I'm a huge Bill and Ted fan myself. She's wearing my hat tonight, my wild stallion's hat. So. And some sort of shirt with a wrestler on it. A wrestler? Isn't he a wrestler? That's George Carlin. That's Rufus. Looks like The Undertaker or something. <laughs> he looks like The Undertaker? <laughs> you obviously don't know who George Carlin or The Undertaker is. I know who George Carlin is, but I've never seen him wear sunglasses like that. Oh, well, now you will. Sweet. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and check out Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Totally. Is that Keanu? Totally. Totally. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> First, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full commentary, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Turn your ringer off. Holy shit, you're getting blown up. What happens if you just post churros on Instagram? Speaking of Instagram. Oh, yeah. yeah you can it's right down here. join us on See Instagram. See awesome pictures of churros. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They were delicious. Or Twitter. Yeah. You didn't post any churros Not yet. On I'll get to that later. Okay. Right. Let's watch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Here we go. Is this a long movie? Yes, yeah, like eight hours. Cool. So crates, that is something I remember from pop cultural references. Okay. It's called Socrates, so crates, right? Hi. Welcome to the future. Well, that's George Carlin. Yeah. You see, 700 years ago, the two great ones ran into a few problems. So now I have to travel back in time to help them out. If I should fail to keep these two on the correct path, the basis of our society will be in danger. Wild stallions. Nineteen eighty eight. Yeah, it's a good year. What a great year. Well, how can we have decent instruments if we don't really even know how to play? That is why we need Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> and that is why we need a triumphant video. Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> so Bill, what you're telling me essentially is that Napoleon was a short, dead dude. Nailed it. <laughs> Who was Joan of Arc? Noah's wife. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a pretty good guess, right? If yeah. you knew nothing. Hey guys, you're gonna fail this class. We've learned that the world has a great history. Yes, and that Caesar is a salad dressing dude. <laughs> Now, unless you get an A-plus on your final oral report tomorrow, I have no choice but to flunk the both of you. Understand? Yes, Yes, sir. Okay. It's a speech, though. It's better than a multiple-choice question if you don't know anything. Express to the class how an important historical figure from each of your time periods would be... What's your time... What's their time periods? Want a ride? Sure, Missy. I mean, Mom... 
Stepmoms. Stepmoms. <laughs> shut up, Ted. No one should have seen you and we were fresh. Shut up, Ted. <laughs> Ted. What are you doing home, Dad? I'm looking for my keys. Oh. You haven't done anything with them, have you? No, sir. <laughs> you fail history, you flunk out of school. You know what that would mean, don't you, Ted? That I would have to go to Oates Military Academy. Nobody wants to go to Military Academy. Especially when you look like him. It is time. Their separation is imminent. We are we Be excellent to each other. Party on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Be excellent to each other. It's good advice. Party on, dude. If they were coming to today's time, what would they use for a time machine? No idea. George Washington, father of our country. Two, born on President's Day. <laughs> Remember Disney World? Hall of Presidents? Yeah, good. What did he say? Welcome to the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> it's your mom, dude. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> How did that old guy get her? She's probably a gold digger. Right? Ew. Not in his room. Ew. Now your dad's going for it in your own room. <laughs> Shut up, Ted. Your stepmom is cute, though. Shut up, Ted. <laughs> Remember when I asked her to the prom? Shut up, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Excuse me. When did the Mongols rule China? I don't know. I just work here. <laughs> They're just going to convenience stores asking people if they know anything. Not bad. <laughs> I'm here to help you with your history report. What? <laughs> oh, oh, I hate that part. Bill, what? Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. <laughs> Dudes, you guys are going to go back in time. Yeah! You are going to have the most excellent adventure through history. Who are you guys? We're you, dude! Okay, wait. If you guys are really us, what number are we thinking of? 69, dudes! Look, <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> 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 Jess, we gotta go. 69. What other numbers? Listen to this, that? dude, Rufus. <laughs> Give my love to the princesses. Who? You'll see. Who are they got in that phone booth with them? Yeah, are you gonna call someone and get the answers? Gentlemen, we're gonna do a lot more than that. We're history. These are the surface of history, gentlemen. They'll take us to any point in time we wish. How? Modern technology, William. Whoa. No need to explain it. Just modern technology. Phone booths. Modern technology. That was most unprecedented, Rufus. Ah. Those shoulder pads. These are intense. Bill, check it out. We're in the middle of a war, dude. Napoleon. Going, dude. Nope. Oh shit. Is that part of their plan? No. I don't think so. Can we go anywhere we want at any time? Gentlemen, you can do anything you want. That book will give you the number of any place you want to go. On your own. 
if you take the phone booth, where are they, how are they supposed to get there? Oh. Never mind. It's Napoleon. Short dead dude from our history review. <laughs> I think I figured out a way to pass a report. How? Well, we got one historical figure here. They're just gonna steal historical figures? This is Ted's little brother, Deacon. Huh. He'll take care of you. Let's go back into history. Where would your first stop in history be? I have no idea. Where would yours be? It's a hard question. Gladiator days. Go to some gladiator games in ancient Rome. That'd be fun to watch. Deputy Van Halen? <laughs> when I get back from the station, I want you packed and ready to go. Got it? No faith that he's going to pass his test? Okay. Let's reach out and touch someone. Is some movement. It's been eating lots of beans. This is just like Frontierland. Yeah, but you can get shot here, Ted. Oh. Who are they gonna meet here? Uh, Wild Bill or no, New Mexico. Uh, Billy the Kid. No. Um. Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Wyatt Earp. Doc, Doc Holiday. Holiday. Two beers, please. He didn't even card us, dude. Yeah, we have to remember this place. <laughs> Who's he? He's Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid. I need two men. We're with you, Billy the Kid. Helping him win a poker game by cheating? Gotta have a poker face like me. Whoa, three aces! Are you cheating us, kid? Cheating? Me? That's why they called it the Wild West. <laughs> it's a good year blimp, huh? Ooh, Ooh wedgies. <laughs> Made him shoot him in the foot. They're all like, that shitter just disappeared. <laughs> Socrates. Hey, we know that name. Oh, it's under Socrates. <laughs> the only true wisdom consists in knowing that you know nothing. That's us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Socrates. Hmm. Now what? I don't know. Philosophize with him. Socrates. That's how he pronounced it to himself. I prefer Socrates. Dust. Win. Dude. Oh. Oh. Ah. Let's get oh. out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, finally, somebody gets me. <laughs> Yeah. Not bad, eh, so great. How are they going to fit all these people in that phone booth? Excellent. Billy, you are dealing with the oddity of time travel with the greatest of ease. <laughs> he really is. He's like, this is cool. <laughs> Excellent. Check it out. Must be the castle of King Henry. Who should we get from medieval? 
How about that gnarly old goat dude? A Nerf ball? <laughs> Billy was playing with that when they arrived in Italy. Or Rome. Greece. Those must be the princesses you told yourself about at the Circle K. We gotta go. It's a history report, not a babe report. They're babes from history. Those are historical babes. Uh <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna meet them? Phil, <laughs> what? These are heavy. Yeah, heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> Bill. What? I'm Dalton. Ted. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Treating actual swords like lightsabers. Uh oh. Oops. Those darn spiral staircases. Just keep rolling. Search the castle. There might be more. He got out of that. He shed his shell, I think. You killed Ted, you medieval dickweed! <laughs> Kings very well. Princesses. How's it going, royal ugly dudes? <laughs> I'm the Earl of Preston. And I am the Duke of Ted. <laughs> Iron Maiden? Excellent! <laughs> Execute them. Uh oh. Iron Maiden isn't the metal band they think of. They fell from the sky! Benedicts! Oh no! They had fire in their eyes! Their phone booth. Where's Billy the Kid and Socrates? Off for the heads! Oh. I believe our adventure through time has taken a most serious turn. There they are. Billy! So crazy! Let's go! <laughs> now it's a mobile phone booth. <laughs> yeah. It's a little tippy. I'm sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Please. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Are they supposed to be there? In the future? It's you. Yeah. It's us. Who are we? Party on. They are the leaders. Be excellent to each other. I think you want us to say something. Party on, dudes. Be excellent to each other. 
Party on, dudes! <laughs> <laughs> I think the boost broke. We gotta keep going, San Dimas, until we get back and get the bowling. The Ziggy Pig, the single greatest ice cream spectacle. <laughs> Eat the big Ziggy, 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 Ziggy Zig. Look at this. Whatever, just. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy. <laughs> what a weird place. <laughs> Got a new badge, though. I don't know. A loop? our daughter on the carnival rides today. <laughs> yeah. Austria. Freud? Yeah, it's Sigmund Freud. How much time we got left? Freud. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Freud, dude? Freud, dude. <laughs> Beethoven? What does that say? I don't know. I don't see it. Joan of Arc? This doesn't look like Noah's time. <laughs> How are they all fitting in there? It's a freaking clown car. <laughs> Squeeze them all in. Genghis Khan. <laughs> Love Twinkies. I think it's the candy bar guy from Die Hard. The guy that the bad guy that grabs the candy bars from when he's. No? You don't remember that? No. Oh, ah, Chester and Arthur. Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> We've got plenty of time. See, that's how they're riding it. The antenna's broken. Oh, they don't know how to get back. Yikes. Hit yet. <laughs> What's Napoleon gonna do without a chaperone? I don't know. Oh shit. Time of dinosaurs, huh? Ah oh, shit. Blech. Sure hope this works. Is it gonna work? God, I hope so. <laughs> I think it's working, dude. That <laughs> <laughs> bubble gum. <laughs> hey, that's us. We're back in San Dimas. Yeah, only now it's not now. It's last night. Uh oh. What? Let's go talk to ourselves. Maybe you could borrow the other phone booth. Let's go find out. 69, dudes! <laughs> and you better hurry because you don't have much time. What do you mean, Rufus? We got 10 hours left. Mm -hmm. You got two hours. Oh shit. Ted, don't forget to wind your watch! 
Whoops. He never did. That conversation made more sense this time. Go <laughs> now. <laughs> It's his mom, dude. I hope she watched watched Bill's sheets. No kidding. Blech. We'd like you to meet some of our friends. Yeah, this is uh Dave V Thoven. <laughs> <B-thoven? laughs> Beef Thoven. <laughs> Everybody, watch your step getting off. Beethoven, make sure you don't get sucked under. Beethoven. <laughs> it's never not gonna be funny. <laughs> so, Crates, watch out for your robe, dude. <laughs> we'll be back as soon as we find a point, okay? Come on, dude, we don't got much time. No shit. You're gonna be late for your thing. Do you realize you have stranded one of Europe's greatest leaders in San Dimas? He was a dick. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of his thing, though. Yeah. We were one of the greatest generals in history. And we were stranded in San Dimas for one day. Where would we go? Waterloo! No days. I feel like these kind of uh, died out in popularity, right? Water, water slide parks. Probably too many people getting hurt on them these days. Come on, buddy. He went there because he saw the castle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit! Why they lost everyone else. Let's you... go, ladies. You guys are looking great. Jazzercise. Should get you an aerobics jumpsuit. <laughs> This here is Socrates. Socrates. We're from history. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Hello, I'm Dr. Freud. But you may call me Siki. <laughs> you both seem to be suffering from a mild form of hysteria. He's got a corn dog. <laughs> Way to go, Egghead. <laughs> <laughs> Geek. He's gonna be like, wow, this is light. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> A lot of mall cops. Yeah. The malls were big back then in the 80s. 20 mall cops. Why you claim to be Sigmund Freud? How do you claim I'm not Sigmund Freud? Why do you keep asking me these questions? <laughs> Tell me about your mother. <laughs> bigger and yet smaller. It's computers. 
<laughs> What's her mascot? I don't know. San Dimas. Go Cougars! <laughs> you go in and talk to your dad. I'm gonna scope the place out. Missy, I mean mom, please keep an eye on Napoleon. Napoleon thinks Missy's cute too. Yeah. Our historical figures are all locked up. My dad won't let them out. Can we get your dad's keys? could steal him, but he lost him two days ago. Only we could go back in time to when he had him and steal him then. Why can't we? Because we don't got time. We could do it after the report. Ted, good thinking, dude. You need them for the report. I don't know. How about They're behind in his that pocket. sign? Oh. <laughs> there, they already did it. After the report, we can't forget to do this, otherwise it won't happen. <laughs> but it did happen. Hey, it was me who stole my dad's key. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time paradox. Mom? Yes? Can you please bring the car around back? Sure. Ben Napoleon's really good at French kissing. <laughs> He's trying to sneak in on Missy. You got a tape recorder at home. Yeah? What am I going to say on it? Dad! Hey, Dad! It's you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! This way! <laughs> P.S. Duck. <laughs> Time travel fixes everything. Great people, time is of the essence. Oh shit, you're gonna be late for your presentation. Remember a trash can. Trash can, what are you talking about? Yeah, get this thing off me, kid. <laughs> I think Abraham Lincoln would be most impressed with the world of San Dimas. Do you think Abraham Lincoln's impressed with San Dimas? Yeah. Hello, San Dimas. Please welcome some of the greatest people who have ever lived in their 1988 world tour. Mr. Ryan, fellow distinguished classmates, teachers, our first speaker was born in the year 470. <laughs> he is sometimes known as the father of modern thought. Since he doesn't speak English, my friend Ted here is going to interpret for him. Socrates! <laughs> He's like, oh, me. <laughs> they said his name right. Yeah. Anxieties about himself. And hence, his aggression transference onto Ted. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just got a minor Oedipal complex. <laughs> Mr. Genghis Khan! Dude, who 700 years ago totally ravaged China, and who we are told two hours ago totally ravaged Oshman Sporting Goods. Rousse avec me, water slide. You can see Genghis very much enjoys Twinkies because of the excellent sugar rush. <laughs> Beethoven's favorite works include Mozart's Requiem, Handel's Messiah, and Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. <laughs> Wasn't Beethoven deaf at one point? Or was that Mozart? I think it was Mozart. Mr. Abraham Lincoln. We, your forefathers, were brought forth upon a most excellent adventure. <laughs> Be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes! <laughs> he nailed that. What grade did they get? If that doesn't get an A, I don't know what would. No. Uh oh. Rufus or somebody else? 
Hello again. The princess is. Rufus introduced us to a place called the mall. And something called credit cards. Are these princesses we're supposed to know? Not anymore. Good one. Yeah, good point. All right. While Stallion's music has become the foundation of our whole society. <laughs> In fact, I believe you were there. It's that futuristic place with the dome. Where are you going, Rufus? I got a surprise for you. Sweet futuristic axes. How do you tune it? Doesn't have any... There's probably knobs on the back. Mm, don't look like it. <laughs> Most outstanding, Rufus. Let's jam. They don't know how to play yet, though. Ted, my friend, this has been a most excellent adventure. One, two, one, two, three, four. They do get better. Sure they do. All right, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Did you learn anything? No. No. You didn't learn anything about history. I don't really feel like they learned a ton about history. We talked about it. they knew all Perfect. about those those guys by the end of their yeah. trip. We were able to express it. And they nailed it. Vo- vocally, you didn't learn to be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. I definitely learned that. All right. So you did learn something. There you go. Yeah. So what do you think? What's on your mind? It was good. Yeah. Dumb, uh, dumb, fun flick. Yeah. Yeah. Beef oven. Beef oven is maybe the funniest thing. That's the funniest thing I've I've heard in a while. Not fruit dude. David beef oven. <laughs> <laughs> fruit dude and so crates. <laughs> The mispronunciation of historical names. Classic. Yeah. The only thing is, like, what about time paradoxes? Yeah, I try not to think about it too much, because yeah. that's where things get fishy with me. Time like travel... Did, did they warn Abraham Lincoln about mm, a certain I doubt know, it. play? Time travel is okay as long as you don't think about it too hard. Yeah. If you try to make sense of it... Take them back where you got them and hope nothing changed. It's bad. Yeah. I mean... They use time travel to f- fix all their plot holes there at the end, too. So. Yeah. But it's fun when you make up plot holes to fix with time travel. Yeah, exactly. And do it. Just just because you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that's our first adventure with Bill and Ted. Now we get to go on a bogus journey next week. Oh, all right. We'll I think bogus journey two. is the one I watched the most. Because when it came out, I was a little bit older, and it was like fresh on VHS, sure. and also I watched it a bunch. So I think that's the one I like the most. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure? Yeah. And party on to it, right? And uh, what else? Anything else on your mind? Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for hanging out for Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Come back yeah. next week. For bogus journey. The bogus journey next week, yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full commentary, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Party on, dudes. Be excellent to each other. Mm-hmm.